Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play the Blackwell Epiphany. Last time we were reintroduced to our protagonist here, Miss Rosangela Blackwell and her trusty psychic, Joey Malone. Where we found some interesting things. After solving another case, we ran across a man who died right in front of us. His ghost came out. He knew something about the bestowers, which is pretty much what she is. But his ghost was very, very scared of something that seemed different. And then his ghost was destroyed, which is terrifying. We also found out that Joey had had contact with the Contessa before. The Countess, not the Contessa, whatever. But he doesn't quite remember it, I don't think. It's interesting. Anyway, uh, before I move on, uh, I just want to take time to say a little something here. I've decided to go ahead and make a Patreon. I know I'm no Sugar Conroy or PewDiePie or whatever, you know, I really don't expect anything from you guys at all. But you guys have been great to me and I, you know, recently one of my viewers even gifted me a game which isn't even the first time that's happened, so that's great. So I decided, you know, you guys are so kind and generous. I might as well see what will happen. I'll, I made a Patreon, I'll include the link below. Uh, I'm j the only reason I'm really doing this though is because, you know, I'm going to be married soon in June and I'm still working on finding my right career path and any little bit will help. Like I said, I don't really expect anything. If there's zero dollars in there, content will continue as usual. I'll be my usual self. This is just to, just to see what will happen and just to let you guys know that I, I do appreciate you a lot. And if you do want to just keep gifting me games instead, that's fine too. Find me on Steam. The Gamesmith89 on there as well. And, uh... Yeah, anyways, let's continue. Auntie Lauren gave that bear to me when I was a kid. His name is Griff, the P.I. bear. Although he's more the geriatric bear these days. Yeah, yeah I love how we actually get like a new perspective on our apartment. There's nothing in there. I go through much less paper since I gave up writing. I miss it sometimes, but I just can't seem to find the time anymore. Oh, I know the feeling. I still need to get more writing done. My bedroom's an oversized closet, but it's mine. Some articles I wrote for the Village Eye newspaper. I hated working there and the paper's been dead for years. But for some reason I can't take them down. Well, they're your work. You publish them. I bought that clock at a tag sale years ago. It doesn't work, but for some reason I can't get rid of it. <laughs> I stopped updating this calendar around the time Joey came into my life. There's probably a connection there. Probably. The last article I ever wrote. And the first ghost I ever saved. So we have already uh, gone through this. This is the same kind of stuff we've seen in previous games, so... My parents' wedding. It's the only picture I have of them. They look so... young. And there's Lauren Blackwell there. Auntie Lauren and me. This was just before all the troubles began. Hmm. It's the intercom to the lobby. If anyone buzzes up, I can talk to them from here. Not that that happens very often, I bet. I don't want to think about going outside, but I guess I have to. Yeah, it is cold out there. This article is about the Meltzer Foundation. I suppose they did some good in the end, but the death toll was too high. See, I don't think we read this one before. I know she did make this, but uh, let's see. News reports that the Meltzer Foundation has closed its doors. The Foundation was only recently the talk of the VC circuit. With their uncanny ability to pick winner after winner, it appeared they had the Midas touch. Through their efforts, they launched several careers in the arts, film, and science fields. The reason behind the closure remained a mystery, as neither Paul Meltzer nor his co-founder and brother Charles could be reached for comment. Even though uh, Charles can die in that uh, game, if you don't save him. Grandmother Patricia, my dad, and Auntie Lauren. I never met my grandmother. I don't think she was ever prepared for, well, this. Yeah, no kidding. It's a picture of me and a former co-worker of mine. Jeremy was a friend, kind of. I never did get to know him well. Not Poor when Jeremy. he was alive, anyway. Was he blonde before? I don't remember that. This man's name is Danny Marconi. I only met him briefly, as a very old man. Yes, we thought she has this up on the wall, but I guess it's just sort of uh, jog our memories and show us things that will be important later. Oh yeah, I remember that uh, we saw Joe in a tailor shop, and this definitely does look like a tailor shop. Tailoring. It's fine tailoring, see? I think that's even the window we broke in through. Maybe. 
For months I expected the police to come breaking down my door, but it's been a year and nothing. We turned double homicide still unsolved, oh yeah. What, what, why do you keep this on your wall? If they did break in, they'd see this, and then they'd be like, well, there you go. <laughs> what was noted philanthropist and charity worker Gavin Cord doing at the home of Lisa Tenzin, noted psychic and con woman? This is the question police have been asking themselves ever since they were both found dead inside Tenzin's home six months ago. These investigations are continuing, but they ask that anyone with further information please contact the Midtown South Precinct. So I'm guessing that this is a recent article, so we're assuming that the last game was about six months ago. Okay. Why they would put an article out six months after the fact, I don't know. It's all just too important stuff to remind us of what's going on. Books on boat maintenance and navigation. I'm not making that mistake again. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> it's a poster for the film Water Under the Bridge. It starred Frank Lyons. Who died? I've had it for years and it's only slightly coffee stained. These were Auntie Lauren's favorite brand. I don't remember much from back then, but the smell reminds me of her. Oh yeah, smells are a good uh, memory bringer upper, I guess. It's a Gold Tech mug. Gold Tech, oh yeah. The Seagull statue used to belong to Lisa Tenzin. Why'd you take it? What is going on? That dog leash used to belong to my neighbor Nishanti. She gave it to me as a souvenir of how we met. Oh yeah, we haven't seen Nishanti since the second game? These art tools belong to Claude Erden. Everyone thinks he killed himself, but at least I know otherwise. Oh yeah, it's killed by the Countess. My old notepad. I went through dozens of these before I upgraded to this phone. It's a portrait of Joe Gould. It used to hang in the Mineta Tavern. It's crazy how she has all these souvenirs. <laughs> Oh well, anyway, that's about it, so uh, let's get on out of here. So Thank God the coffee it. stands are still open. I think I'm really going to need them. It's your dime, sweetheart. <laughs> so we are getting more coffee, so we'll have that in our inventory. Oh, it's you. Had a feeling you'd swing by. So yeah, I did look up uh, something about the achievements. Uh, this is another area we can walk on snow. So the area inside the building, that didn't count. But this area does. We do have to wait for him to leave, though. So yeah, I did look that up. Oh, there's something else I need to do. Another achievement for blowing my people, including... She's those. cold enough without me making it worse. <laughs> no reaction. No surprise there with the weather we're having. Oh well. All right. Detective? Uh-huh. You found a Jane Doe at the Karth house, right? Yeah, what about it? Her name was Mary Meehan. She was an actress with the Gotham Collective Theater Company. You're sure about that? Yes. I won't ask how you know that, but we'll check out that name and see if you're right. At the very least, we can locate the family and tell them what happened. Thanks. I guess we owe you another one. Can we talk inside? It's freezing out here. Can't smoke inside, thanks to our friend the mayor. So you couldn't maybe, I don't know, not smoke for a while? <laughs> right. It's a bad habit. I caught the evening news today. There wasn't one mention of the murdered man in Chelsea. That program hasn't been the same since they replaced that blonde anchor woman. <laughs> Nobody else talked about it either. Not online, not any other news program. Nobody. You must have suppressed the news. Why? Because we're the cops, that's why. Look, before we take this any further, why are you so interested in this? What makes this murder more important than any other? Um. He was killed right in front of me. And what, suddenly this makes it personal? Well, kinda. It might have something to do with me. Uh-huh. And why is that? Why is this murder so important? He was looking for me. He was? Why? I don't really know. Uh-huh. Did you know the guy? No, I didn't. So, how did you know he was looking for you? Wait, let me guess. You just do. <sighs> Something like that. Something like that ain't good enough. What else you got? I was there. You know I was there. Surely I'm a suspect. You think I'm crazy? I made sure your name is nowhere near this thing. And unless you give me a good reason, it stays that way. So tell me, why is this murder so important? You're the one who sent me there in the first place. That can't be a coincidence. 
So, you think we sent this guy to your location to, what, get killed in front of you? I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. You don't get to ask me anything. You need to tell me why this murder is so important. You've trusted me before. Why can't you trust me again? Trust has nothing to do with it. Look, I don't know what your deal is. I've never asked, and frankly, I don't want to know. But I do know that you've helped me clear a few cases. And once in a while, in return, I answer some of your questions. That's fine. Quid pro quo. It's not in the rule book, but it's how we get things done. But this case, it goes way up. We can't bring in anyone from outside. Not without a good reason. So give me one. Why is this murder so important? I couldn't begin to explain it. It's more than just a murder. More horrible than just a killing. Uh-huh. Any details on what that could be? It needs to be stopped. That's all. Sorry. I know we got an arrangement, but my hands are tied. Fine. If that's the way it is. For what it's worth, it's nothing personal. You got other questions, I'm here. Just don't ask about this case. You get me? Yeah. I get you. Hmm, so how can we find out more? Well, that's why we have Joey. Keep our friend busy. I'm gonna sniff around. Not that I don't appreciate the company, but why the heck are you just standing there? Oh, <laughs> um, I was just admiring the brickwork. The brickwork? Sure. But when was this building built? 1950s? I got no idea. Low-rise bonding, very typical of the era. Whatever. <laughs> At the bottom are the words, Alex Silva, Commissioner. Hey, wait a minute, Alex Silva, she was... We heard her voice at the end of the last game. pretty cold to be just standing around. Isn't that what you're doing? I'm a cop in front of a cop station. What's your excuse? I'm, um, waiting for a cab. On a night like this? Might take a while. Maybe. It says authorized personnel only beyond this point. Fortunately, I think that only applies to living people. Good stuff. This thing with you standing around? It's getting kind of weird. I told you, I'm waiting for a cab. The subway's just two blocks that way. The stairs are icy? <sighs> Fair enough. <laughs> Let's blow on him. No reaction. That's cops for you. Anyway, let's, uh... Let's, let's Looks like some kind of duty roster. Nothing relevant. Alright. That's the guy. There's our guy. His name is George Austin, according to this note. Looks like he lived on the Upper West Side. Alright, so we've got his address. So let's switch back to Rosa and uh, get out of here. To, uh, George Austin. This is some lobby. Careful you don't break anything, we'll be in Hawk for life. This well, is nice. your life anyway, not mine. I don't recognize the artist, but it looks peaceful enough. How did they change the bulbs on that thing? That vase looks more expensive than everything in my apartment put together. He's watching my every move. Well, let's talk to him. Hi. Yes, miss? I'm looking for George Austin. Is he in? No, he's not. Sorry. Is there any way I can look inside George's apartment? <laughs> it's really important. Sorry. Unless you've been authorized, I can't let you in. Do you know where George Austin is? I really couldn't say. Sorry. Oh, well, let's, uh... Go back to Joey again. Let's blow on this guy. Damn drafts. Need to report that before someone complains. Yeah, I think you need to blow on every single person you possibly can. Can I? She's cold. Okay. I saw it doesn't matter if we're outside or not. <laughs> but yeah, I think you need to blow on every person to get the achievement. Looks like it's full of old clothes. It says, Holiday Clothing Drive. It's cold this winter. Please leave your old clothes in the box below for people less fortunate than you. It's signed by George Austin. Uh, 
apartment 12A. So for this one, we can't just tell her. We actually have to do something here. It seems like he was a nice guy. Whatever Joey did, the doorman doesn't seem to have noticed. Okay. Um, she's standing um, on. Dropped my pen. <laughs> she's such a bad liar. I love it. It's a handwritten note from George Austin, asking the residents of his building to donate old clothes to charity. I'm sure they won't miss it. It says, Holiday Clothing Drive. It's cold this winter. Please leave your old clothes in the box below for people less fortunate than you. It's signed by George Austin. So, 12A. Perfect. Anything else to say? Hi. Yes, miss? I, uh, heard that George Austin was having a clothing drive here. Oh, yes. George does it every year. He brings the box to Grace himself. Grace? Didn't we hear something about that? Something about Grace wasn't safe or something like that from that guy who died? Randall said the name of Grace and that she wasn't safe. You said that George takes the clothes to Grace. Yes, he does. He has an attachment to the place, even though we've got a fine church in this area. Church? So by Grace you meant Grace Church? Yeah, the one downtown. What did you think I meant? Nothing. Never mind. Thanks. Sure. Alright, Grace Church. Let's head over. I wonder if I can... No, I have to wait until he's gone. Okay. <laughs> A church of all the places. Really? Ghosts don't like churches? Being a ghost has nothing to do with it. Okay. Okay, this is one of the places where you have to <laughs> fill out the snow with your footprints. I don't know if you have to like fill it all out, but oh, we don't want to exit yet. I didn't want to exit, dang it. Okay, let's try that again. If the people who go to these churches worry about their souls so much, they should try dying sometime. You seem to have a thing against churches. Weekend organ meditations. Weekend or oh, I thought I should like say something else. It says Grace Church in New York, Episcopal, Reverend Gabriel Ullman Rector. Okay, let's try this again here. So I have to keep going until Joey gets pissed off. Okay, don't go there. So yes, I'm gonna do this. It doesn't seem like it'll take too long. Exit, so right there. Go up here. We'll go way around. Uh, if you want the achievement, this is how you get it. And if you want to get the achievement, all the achievements for these games, which I still need to play for, through all of them with uh, commentary. And then the second one, I got to play through two more times to do the cigarette one. Um, oh, whoops. Oh, please, don't let me stop you. <laughs> so, okay, you got a noise. I'm so not stealing. Go. Besides, I'd never get it off the wall. It says Grace Church. Of course, we knew that already. Okay, now let's go inside. And uh, see what we can find out. He looks pretty deep in thought. We did get that uh, for the snow, so let's just go back. We don't actually want to talk to Durkin some more. Detective? Uh-huh. Have you ever been to Grace Church for any reason? Church? No, I haven't. Why? No reason. Forget it. I know the victim's name is George Austin. Yeah, yeah, this crap doesn't impress me anymore. And even if it did, you're not a cop. You're not even officially on the books. So? 
make it unofficial. You've done it before. Not this time, sorry. With all due respect, you need to back off. Okay, that's it. Uh, I actually don't think well, we need to do see that you around. Uh-huh. I know we need to come back here, but I actually think we need to, did need to go to the church first. So I'm just wasting time. Sorry. Okay, this is the last game, so we'll just make it last as long as possible. 